Hi, kids. I'm so glad you could join us here today. We have an exciting show planned for you. Hello, Pastor Monty. Did I scare you? Uh, no, no. Why, why would you think you scared me? Well, I didn't know if you would remember me. Most folks get spooked when they hear a talking possum. <laughs> well, your name is Pepper, right? And you're one of uh, Al's friends. You're absolutely right. Pepper the possum. If I remember right, I really didn't get to talk to you too much last time because Al kept uh, interrupting us the whole time. Yeah. Well, I've got a people problem, Mr. Monty. Really? Since you're one of the only people I know, I thought I'd come and talk to you about it. Well, what's your people problem then? You remember I'm nocturnal, right? I, I do. That means that you sleep during the daytime and then you're up at night. That's when you're active. Yes, but... It has some problems, to be honest. Well, what kind of problems, Pepper? Well, Al stays up with me sometimes and tells me stories about things that have happened during the day. That's really nice of Al. He's a good friend. It is, but he told me about this place. I didn't believe it existed. Well, what kind of place did Al tell you about that you're kind of not sure of? Well, it's a place called the Mall. Oh, yes. I, I do know about the Mall. Well... I didn't believe them. A place where you could go to a lot of stores instead of one? If that existed, that would be incredible. Well, that's why they named it that. Instead of going to one store, you can do them all. Really? No, no, I'm just joking. Uh, you've been hanging around cash too much, haven't you? Never mind. Probably. <laughs> where was I? Oh, yeah. I asked if my mom could check it out with me. She said we could. So we both stayed up past her bedtime and headed to the mall. I was right. There's a lot of people and stores everywhere. It is pretty incredible, isn't it? But you said you had a, a people problem, though, right? Well, I got separated from my mom, and I started to get scared. Then one of them people stepped on my tail. Oh. Guess what happened? I don't know. What happened? Ah, uh, I got it. That's right. I panicked and played possum, pretending to be dead. I'm so sorry, Pepper. I was sure one of those people would stop and help me, but they didn't, Pastor Monty. I saw all sorts of people that should have stopped and helped, but they just walked on by. Why did they do that to me? You know what? Jesus told a, a parable the, about a man who the, the very same thing happened to. Uh, he told us there was a man who was going from Jerusalem to a city called Jericho. And while he was on his way, he was robbed. Some men came, and they, they beat him up, and they and left him on the side, thinking he was dead. And then a man, a priest, really, who worked in the temple, right, kind of really doing things that he should care about others, well, he came by. When he saw the man on the side of the road, he walked on the other side of the road and didn't help him. And then a Levite, someone else who worked in the temple, he came, and he was walking down the road. He also saw the man that was hurt and laying there, and he also walked on the other side of the road. But then there was another man, a third man. The third man was what they called a Samaritan. He was from the area of Samaria. And the Jews and the Samaritans, well, they really didn't really get along really well. But when he saw the Jewish man laying on the side of the road, Jesus tells him the story that he stopped, and he helped the man, and he he took care of his wounds, and he put him on his donkey, and he took him to an inn so he could have a place to sleep that night. And then the next day he said, I'll pay for him, and you take care of him, and I'll be back in a few days. Well, at the very end of that story, Jesus looked to his audience and said, which of those three men do you think was the good neighbor? You know, to the man who was hurt. My mama said I can use every situation as a lesson. I guess I need to use this as a lesson. I know no matter how busy I am, I always need to make time to help others in need. That's very true, Pepper. You know, I want to thank you for coming in and asking me that question. And I hope next time somebody will stop and help you. Yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later, Pepper. You know, kids, do you ever need someone to help you? But maybe no one did. How did that make you feel? You know, we need to be like the Samaritan, don't we? And help others that we see in need. Like when your brother or sister or a friend needs help. But maybe you're busy playing or watching a show. 
You need to show that they are important by stop doing what you're doing and go help them. That way, you show them the same kind of love that God shows us. Okay, this week, I hope you have an opportunity to go out and help somebody else, and I'll see you next time.